Dr. Michael Persinger, a psychologist and neuroscientist, did research on the effects of electromagnetic radiation on the brain for a Pentagon weapons project. He has worked in the field for 40 years and has been funded by the Navy and the National Security Agency as well. Dr. Persinger perfected a means to make experimental subjects feel they had been abducted by aliens or had an encounter with angels or God through the use of a modified motorcycle helmet equipped with solenoids to send electromagnetic pulses through the frontal lobes of their brains. Quote, Human experience of God can be genera generated by a process that has nothing to do with whether God exists or not. Persinger published on the possibility of directly accessing every human brain by electromagnetic induction of fundamental algorithms in 1995. Quote, a process which is coupled to the narrow band of brain temperature could allow all normal, normal human brains to be affected by a subharmonic whose frequency range at 10 hertz would only vary by 0 0.1 hertz. Random variations of noises within the matrices could potentially differentiate between individual brains. In other words, individuals could be identified by the specific characteristics of their brain outputs. Quote, Identification of these sequences could also allow direct access to the most complex neurocognitive processes associated with the self, human consciousness, and the aggregate of experimental representations. In other words, episodic memory. These define the individual within the brain. Unquote. In other words, a person's memory, consciousness, and sense of self can be fully accessed and modified by electromagnetic means. Essentially, a person's personality can be completely shaped by electromagnetic means, much like the research of Dr. Ewan Cameron sought to do through other more primitive means. Dr. Persinger says brain process can be, quote, circumvented by direct induction of this information within the brain. The basic premise is that synthetic duplication of the neuroelectrical correlates generated by sensors to an actual stimulus could, should produce identical experiences within the presence of that stimulus, unquote. He is saying that virtually any mental state can be artificially injected into a human brain from an exterior source. The most frightening thing is that the means for doing this already exist in a fully operational form on a worldwide basis. Quote, the power levels for these amplitudes are similar to those associated with the signals generated globally by radio and communication systems. Within the last two decades, a potential has emerged which was improbable, which would, but which is now marginally feasible. This potential is the technical capability to influence directly the major portion of the approximately six billion brains of the human species by generating neural information within a physical medium within which all members of the species are immersed." Unquote. Persinger's message, minus the jargon, is that the entire human race can be mind-controlled through the use of television and radio networks. Classification under the heading of national security is sufficient to hide the experimental work of scientists engaged in the directed energy weapons research. But if an inventor wishes to reap financial rewards for a device, a patent must be filed. There are hundreds of patents related to directed energy weapons and what the Pentagon now refers to as psychotronica, or synthetic telepathy. The existence of these patents, together with the body of scientific research and testimony of victims of human experimentation, is incontrovertible proof that the weapons exist. The earliest patents for directed energy weapons belong to Nikola Tesla. Tesla built the first electrical generating station single-handedly beginning the modern age. The Strategic Defense Initiative patent drawing submitted seven years later by Dr. Bernard Eastland, who holds numerous SDI patents, are essentially Nikola Tesla drawings. It is hard to imagine a technical genius that far ahead of his time. 
J.P. Morgan was the primary investor in Tesla, eventually cutting off funding and confiscating the rights to many of the devices and patents while Tesla died in poverty and obscurity. Patent number 3951134, held by Robert G. Malik, patented in 1976, quote, an apparatus and method for remotely monitoring and altering brain waves. The patent abstract states, quote, apparatus for method of sensing brain waves at a position remote from the subject whereby electromagnetic signals of different frequencies are simultaneously transmitted to the brain of the subject. The present invention relates to apparatus and a method for monitoring brain waves wherein all components of the apparatus are remote from the test subject. High frequency transmitters are operated to radiate electromagnetic energy of different frequencies through antennas which are capable of scanning the entire brain of the test subject or any desired region thereof. The signals of different frequencies penetrate the skull of the subject and impinge upon the brain whereby they mix to form an interference wave modulated by radiation from the brain's natural electrical activity. activity. The modulated interference wave is transmitted by the brain and received by an antenna at a remote station where it is demodulated and processed to provide a profile of the subject's brain waves. In addition to passively monitoring his brain waves, the subject's neurological processes may be affected by transmitting to his brain through transmitting compensating signals. The latter signals can be derived from the received and processed brain waves. A second patent, number 5356368, Monroe, 1993. Method for inducing mental, emotional, and physical states of consciousness, including specific mental activity in human beings, patented by Robert, Aitman, Robert A. Monroe, a practitioner of remote viewing, founder of the Monroe Institute in Charlottesville, Virginia. Specific states of consciousness may be induced, quote, through generation of stereo, sig stereo audio signals having specific wave shapes, Human brain waves, in the form of EEGs, are superimposed upon specific stereo audio signals, known as carrier frequencies, which are within the range of human hearing." Unquote. Monroe filed a later patent as an improvement. He is reported to have had close connections to the CIA and is now deceased.